Hello everybody and welcome to a PlayClaw 5 tutorial. In this video I'm going to be covering the pre-record function. So if we have a look at the encoder settings, you'll notice that we can set a pre-recording buffer size here. And if you open up this list, it'll be populated with um, amounts of time that you can select. And the variables that you see here depend on how much internal memory you have. So I have 12 gigabytes of RAM, so I can pre-record for a maximum of 600 seconds. And what this basically means is the time that you select here, so let's say 10 seconds for instance, as soon as I enable the pre-record function, PlayClaw will continually record the last 10 seconds of play. That means that you can constantly play the game and record it without actually writing anything to your hard disk. So if you happen to have, see something awesome happen in the game, while you're pre-recording, you can press another key and that clip of the last 10 seconds will be dumped to your hard disk and you can continue to play and record um, in the pre-record function. So I'm going to show you how this works in game in just a moment, but first I'd like to cover the rest of the settings that are available for this function. So we can set the buffer here. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to set it to 600 seconds so that I know I've got enough time later in the recording to uh, actually show how things work. And let's go to the plugins and preview overlays. So at the moment, I've got the capture stat overlay right here. Just zoom in a bit. I'm going to open the settings for this screen. And here, you can see that we can change the pre-record color. So the text that you see, which is now red, it'll actually be orange and you'll see a little icon to denote pre-recording uh, when we're in game. Okay, and we also have some hotkeys to configure. So we're looking at these three settings here, the start pre-recording, which is pretty obvious. That'll actually start the function so that you can uh, pre-record and play as long as you want. We've got the flush pre-recording. So what this function does is um, dumps the last 10 seconds or whatever you've got configured to your hard disk as a video clip. So you can continue to record in pre-record mode while you play and uh, save the last section that you wanted to, uh, to capture. And we've also got the cancel um, button here. This button actually works for the normal recording mode and also for the pre-recording mode. Okay, so we're going to jump into game here, and you can see, just make sure I get a mouse cursor. So here at the top, I've got the recording uh, information, and what I'll do is stop this recording and start again in pre-record mode, so that you can see the difference. So as you can see, we're now in pre-record mode, and the, the timer is counting up. Uh, this is to show how much of the game, like in this case the last 10 seconds, uh, is, is being recorded. And what I'll do now is press the flush pre-record key. As you can see the timer resets. So that last, uh, I don't know, was it 20 seconds or so of um, gameplay has been saved to my hard disk. And I can continue to pre-record. Alright. If I now press the normal record key, you'll see that the um, recording stat changes. So that last moment of, oh, that I had is dumped to hard disk and I continue to uh, build on that same clip um, in normal record mode. All right, we're gonna jump back into onto the desktop right now. Let's see here. So I'm gonna open up my file explorer and I've made a folder for this demonstration. So as you can see here, we've got a n number of clips. This is the original one that I started. Here we've got the clip that we dumped to the uh, to the hard disk. And let's see, that's oh, actually this is the first one. Sorry, this is the clip that we dumped, and this is the continuous recording that's actually being recorded right now. So if I start this one up. So as you can see, we're oh. now in pre-record mode, and the the timer is. Let's turn the sound down. So 
This is a demonstration of the uh, the clip that we just recorded in pre-record mode, and we dumped to a hard disk. Okay, so that's the pre-record function. Very very useful if you want to save hard disk space. I hope you found this uh, video uh, useful. If you have any questions, head over to the forums for Playclaw. There are lots of people there willing to help out. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.